Long live the king! Me. Oh, yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow hunters! Did you know that there is two secret armor sets buried deep within Sunbreak? that you could get your hands on. Both are glorious, both look glorious, and both will be glorious gems atop your collection. Yes, indeed. For now then, what actually am I talking about? Well, it is two pieces of head armor that are layered only, and they are really quite special. First up, we have the Ethereal Diadem. This has you go full-on Wyvarian pointy ears, or, you know, elf if you like, and then adorns you with a crown of nature, wooden branches and leaves. Both the ears and said leaves are the diable parts, and it generally just is a fantastic looking, incredibly unique bit of armor that works so well in so many different fashion sets and aesthetics, and I really, really like it. Next up then, we have the Top crown, which is a right proper royal kingly queenly crown fitting of Elgado the kingdom and her majesty. Yeah! I don't know why I just made Cheech sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and this one is honestly probably my favorite. I am a sucker for the aesthetic and it really just works well with damn near everything. And let's be honest, is quite the status symbol. I mean, literally, it's a crown. The furry rim is diable as is the metal and incredibly diable at that. And it's really, really good to see and genuinely is the, if not hardest, by far and away the most hidden and time consuming piece of equipment to unlock in the entirety of Sun break and it's not even close. So, as far as unlocking them goes, how do you unlock them? Well, prepare to do a lot of hunting. A lot of hunting. A lot of hunting! Beginning with the Ethereal Diadem, we want to go to the Follower Quest. You first want to complete every normal Follower Quest, as that unlocks all of the support surveys, and then you want to complete every single support survey in the entire game. Yeah, so that's the thing. Oh, look, it just, it just did it all by itself. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it didn't take me unbelievably amount of hours slowly grinding away, listening to Luchica and Fugen for the most part, as they are the most effective pair of followers for killing things quickly. Oh god, ah, oh, it's so numbing. But once they're all done, well, you will get a special hunt request from Fear Rain. And this really is a special hunt request. It is a quest called, well, Monster Hunter. <laughs> And it simply wants you to hunt the three OG trio of Elder Dragons. So you go and do that, slay them real good, and lo and behold, at quest complete, you have unlocked a brand new armor. Well, the Ethereal Diadem, which will now be in your layered box, the reward for completing every follower quest and every follower survey. You don't, however, need to do title update 1-1, one -one, so those can be skipped. Cool? Cool. Moving on then to the Harp Crown. As you may have guessed it, this is from your normal Master Rank quests. There are a lot of these. A lot, a lot of these. I had to do 70 of them in order to completely check them all off and unlock this so I could show it you guys. 70 it to- Oh my god! <sighs> I am exhausted. But done they are, and when you complete the final one, well, you get yourself another request from, uh, this time, Gallius, a special quest for you to do, and this one is indeed quite fun. Hail to the Fierce, Nagakuga, Seregios, Crimson Glow, Valstrex, and Malzano on the Shrine Ruins. It is quite the intimidating hunt, and it is quite the worthy challenge to unlock your kingly status, for yes, once you bring them all down, 
down, this will add the Harp Crown to your layered collection, as well as a load of other awards and so on and such forth badges. And hey, you even get yourself a little extra badge of hero outpost that you can display next to your name in Elgado, which is really quite neat. So pretty much that's kind of it. Do every follower quest that was in the game before title update one, get the ethereal diadem. Do every master rank quest that was in the game before title update one, get the harp crown. Both big symbols of you play this game too much, but hey, who's counting? <laughs> Oh, no, I am glad I have them, I really am, but my word, when I set out to show you guys this, I underestimated just how long it would take to complete every quest in the game, which, admittedly, probably, now that I say it like that, is on me. In any case, I hope you found this useful, I hope it gives you a goal to work towards if you didn't know of their existence, or if you're like, thank god I know what they look like, because that is not worth the hours it would take. I think they're pretty neat, to be fair. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe, and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Let me know whether you prefer the Harp Crown or the Ethereal Diadem, and until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.